Um, what I want to say was this this movie, in my opinion, ups the ante on every possible way. Mm -hmm. I mean, not only your involvement with, with Bella, but the, the triangle and the action and everything. But they also talked about uh, in the second film of this fire and ice idea of Edward being ice mm -hmm. and Jacob being fire. And I always thought, I don't know, I, I, I always sensed a bit of, of seething with, with Edward. I mean, he's mm -hmm. got to be in control all the time. Am I, am I just imagining this? or I thought it was more uh, like fire, fire. Definitely, yeah. I mean, it kind of... The whole ice thing is just a pretense. I mean, he's just kind of, uh, it's all conscious. Uh, he's just filled with, so he's a 17 year old. He's a 17 year old who's, who's, who's been 17 for 80 years. I mean, it's kind of, you have so much fury which has been caged in for so long. Um, it's funny how this is the first movie where, where you can actually act upon your impulse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm glad I wasn't imagining it. <laughs> I, I was thinking the same thing. Like, you know, he's got to be so in control. Not only is he a vampire uh -huh. uh, around a human, uh -huh. then there's that other connection, you know, that sense of this is the one for him. Uh -huh. And then he is a 17-year-old kid yeah. who's got, I'm assuming, those urges and, and instability that I know I had. Yeah, completely. <laughs> and, and he's... And also giving someone kind of enormous strength and power and stuff, and, and also, you know, he has such an enormous responsibility. And if you give a 17-year-old tons and tons of responsibility and infinite power, pretty much, I mean, there's not very many 17-year-olds who'd be able to handle that at all. No. And, uh, and, you know, he's just had to force himself to, to deal with it. So, in, in, you know, in coming from a place like that, especially for this movie, because you're right, it really comes out in this one. Uh, what do you, what do you, what do you access? Do you think about yourself younger, or do you just think, or do you kind of look at Edward and go, okay, let's think of his backstory and how he changed, and you know, and, and where he's coming from. Yeah, I mean, I guess the storyline in this one is is quite, you know, it's, it's quite universal. I mean, it's, and I think it's, it, it, you know, it, I mean, all the stuff with the major fight scenes and things. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's obviously very easy to understand. It's like just stay alive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean. But I mean the whole the whole um, love triangle thing with Jacob now. I think it's one of the, the one of the first times. I mean, considering everybody thinks Edward is this romantic hero and does the right thing all the time. After Bella kisses Jacob, I think that's one of Edward's most heroic moments. Like how he deals with it afterwards, because mm -hmm. there's not very many seventeen-year-olds who just be like, yeah, it's, I'm completely understand. I can completely see. The entire situation, and I'm okay with it. Right. And, and it's completely up to you to, to decide what you want to do. Yeah, it didn't seem so much like jealousy, more of a, you know what? Gosh, he might be better for you, and I care about you. So yeah, should I like, let you go to him? Yeah, kind and it's it's. It, I mean, and and to be able to deal with that kind of pain, uh, is sort of, you know, it, it requires enormous strength. So it's, I guess it's something to be respected. Well, thanks a lot for your time. I gotta go. And you guys really up the ante.